Hello, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you're watching Technical Spark channel. Uh, friends in Telix Drive Encryption series, today I'm going to demonstrate how to reset password using companion device, which means user can use their mobile to reset their Telix Drive Encryption password if they forgot or face any difficulties. The process is very easy, but lots of people didn't know about this. So very first we'll cover that. And in next video, we will see what are the options available through which user can recover their password by contacting APO administrator and in this video for companion device let's check out practically how you can do that but after this small intro video welcome back guys very first let's open our APO console and here we go let's log in with our admin credential and as you could see in our dashboard so right now we have only one pc which is installed with our drive encryption software and it's currently inactive i haven't activated that let's go to the system tree and here is that machine to which the encryption policy is already been assigned let me show you here it is okay so we have to play with these two policy so let's uh, do the changes one by one to enable the uh, that particular component device support so very first I'm choosing product settings. So let's click on that and under component device at the last we have to enable this option. Okay. Now let's click on save policy. Now the second policy which is user based policy. Let's open that as well. Go to the component device and enable the recovery option. And for the component devices application you can select how complex password user will have to set. So since this is just my test environment, so what I'm doing, I'm just selecting six digit. Now let's click on save. Guys, the next thing we'll have to do is right now my system is decrypted, right? Which means it's not encryption is not activated. So let's me activate the encryption by assigning one user. So this is the machine action add user under encryption users. We'll have to click on this plus icon. And let me select my user, which is Sohan Gole. I'm using activated users. Okay. And click on OK. The username would be Sohan G. Click on OK. Again, OK. Perfect. Now our user has been added. Now we'll jump to the that particular machine. But before that, let me show you again that my this particular machine has the policy which is technical spark encryption. Okay, for product setting as well as user based policies. Don't get confused with the name because name is similar but the policies are different. Okay guys, now let's jump to the our client machine. So guys, in our test machine, very first let's open our quick setting and check out the encryption status. So currently is inactive. Now let's open the agent status monitor so that the policy which we have applied will get affected. Now just for your reference, in my system, drive encryption software is already been installed. So there is no need to redeploy it again. Why it didn't activate it? Because we haven't assigned any user to that in this machine, which is we just assigned uh, in our EBO server. So now let's check uh, for the new policy, enforce policy C, creating events to request data for assigned users, which means our encryption will begin shortly. Let's do the, you know, let's enforce the policy again so that things will be done faster. Detecting incompatible products, creating pre-boot file system, let me do it one more time. Send recovery key to key server. Committing activation, which means it will be activated very soon. And as it says, my system will get rebooted within two minutes. See, the encryption has been started. Now let's close this, and hopefully our component device, you know, will get activated now. Let's close this and let me manually restart the machine instead of waiting for two minutes. Restart. Guys, my machine is powered on and as you could see in the down below, I got the option to register the smartphone. So let's tick this box and enter our username. So my username is Sohan G. Enter and password. So let me enter that and hit enter. Okay, now let me reset the password. And friend, this is how the user experience will be. So whoever is going to log in for the first time with uh, using this particular your drive encryption, they will have to follow the same process. So let me click on OK. Let me set few recovery questions. What is your favorite color? So this time we'll select orange. 
guys you will have to you know enter this questions carefully yeah, because this would be required to you know reset your password if in case your component device is not available if you want to save your time and don't want to contact the it team then yeah you will have to be very careful when you answer these questions what's your company name perfect let's enter technical spark and next click on finish and here we go guys this is the place where we have to you know scan your drive encryption score so for that we'll have to install one application and the application name will be trellix endpoint assist or you can say assistant now here is the application let's open that and guys if you check out the size of this particular uh, you know uh, application then it's just a 2.2 mb okay and it doesn't collect any data from your device so it's very safe to use it it's not resource hungry or anything okay i have provided the confirmation to use this application perfect now let's open the application okay enter new passcode to sign into this particular device so let me enter one two three four five okay it just accepting four keywords again one two three four now it's asking to scan the code so click on the middle I allow the access to camera and here we go the scan is completed and what it says your administrator has mandated that you set a new passcode that confirms to the uh, rules below which means we have to set at least six digit long password so click on ok enter a current code one two three four now we'll have to enter new code so let's say one two three four five six one two three four five six so we have successfully scanned our QR code. Now we have to click on finish. Okay, our PC has been successfully started. Now let me unlock this. So guys, basically this is how you can enable the support of the component devices, which means you will have to download one application and enable the configuration from your product settings as well as user base setting under EPO. Now I will also let you know how exactly you can use this particular component devices to reset the password because usually users are sending challenge code to you and then you are providing recovery keys but here the situation will get changed but before we restart let's again verify once the status of our drive encryption is still encrypting okay so now let's close this and we'll reboot our machine but before that let me just sync the policy once with our EPO server okay perfect now we are good to reset and restart after restart we will have to enter our username to log in into the system okay now let's say I don't remember the password right so let me try to you know a random password okay it doesn't accept correct let me try one more time enter it doesn't accept so in this situation user will need recovery for that let's click on option and then recovery and here we got two options one is question and answer recovery which means if you don't remember your uh, answers which means when you first time logged into your trail time encryption they are, I have answered two questions right so similar the way if you remember those answers then you will be able to recover your uh, drive encryption and log into the system but if in case if you don't remember then here is the game we'll have to select first option which is administrator and smartphone recovery and click on ok now what it says scan the QR code and guys here usually what we do we send this client code to our EPO administrator right and then he provides the re recovery code but here we don't need uh, EPO administrator or IT team friends since you have enrolled your Trailix endpoint assistant app with drive encryption so going further if you ever you know uh, face any issue with your password and you are unable to log in in those situations you can just simply scan your that particular code by going to the recovery and smartphone recovery because we have uh, registered our smartphone and after clicking on smartphone recovery you will get one barcode that is something which you have to scan and then based on that barcode you will get the recovery code on your mobile device 
which you will have to enter into the recovery option and that's it you will be able to log in into the pc without any issue so hopefully guys you have found this video useful and if so please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share and subscribe if in case if you have any feedback question query then please feel free to let me know in the comment box below i'll be very happy to assist you with the, all the queries so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next video with more recovery options just stay focused and keep learning bye bye